Welcome to the Knowledge Hub. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating and mysterious topics that has puzzled humanity for centuries, the nature of consciousness and the enigma of the mind. From ancient philosophers to modern neuroscientists, the question remains, what exactly is the mind and how does consciousness arise? Buckle up, because this is going to be a mind-bending journey into the essence of our very being. Let's start with the basics. Consciousness is the state of being aware of our own existence, thoughts, and surroundings. It's what allows us to reflect on our experiences, feel emotions, and perceive the world around us. But here's the kicker scientists and philosophers still don't fully understand why we have this inner life. This brings us to what philosopher David Chalmers called the hard problem of consciousness. Sure, we know the brain processes information, but why does this processing give rise to the feeling of being you? Why isn't it just dark inside with no awareness at all? Some propose that consciousness is simply an emergent property of complex brain functions. As the brain processes information, somehow consciousness bubbles up. But others argue it's not that simple. They suggest that something fundamental is missing in our understanding, something that might even lie beyond the realm of physical science. Let's explore some of the leading theories of consciousness. First up, we have dualism, the classic idea from Ren Descartes that the mind and body are distinct entities, the mind is non-physical and separate from the brain. But modern science has largely leaned toward materialism, which suggests that the mind is what the brain does. Consciousness is just the result of neurons firing in complex patterns. But wait, it gets weirder. What if consciousness is everywhere? Enter panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is a fundamental feature of all matter, even at the smallest scales. In this view, every electron, Every atom has a bit of consciousness, and our human experience is just a more complex manifestation of this universal trait. Then there's the Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, which proposes that consciousness arises from the integration of information within a system. The more interconnected the information, the richer the conscious experience. Finally, global workspace theory suggests that consciousness is like a broadcasting network in the brain. When information enters this global workspace, it becomes available to all parts of the mind. This is what makes it consciousness. So, what exactly is the mind? While the brain is a physical organ composed of neurons and pathways, the mind is the intangible world of thoughts, memories, emotions, and desires. It's the abstract space where your sense of self resides. The mind operates on different levels. The conscious mind involves what we're actively aware of. The subconscious mind holds information just beneath the surface, influencing our behavior and feelings. And the unconscious mind is a deeper reservoir of repressed memories and instincts. As we dive deeper, even more intriguing questions arise. Can machines ever be truly conscious? With advancements in artificial intelligence, this is not just a sci-fi fantasy, but a serious philosophical and scientific question. And what happens to consciousness after death? Does it simply cease when the brain stops functioning, or does it continue in some form? Finally, what role does consciousness play in free will? Are we really making our own choices, or are we just acting out neural scripts written by our brain chemistry? The quest to understand consciousness is far from over. Researchers are delving into brain imaging, cognitive modeling, and even exploring psychedelic substances to unlock new insights. Understanding consciousness not only helps us grasp the human experience, but could also lead to breakthroughs in treating mental disorders, enhancing cognition, and who knows, maybe even creating conscious machines. Consciousness is the lens through which we view everything yet it remains one of the greatest mysteries of existence. Whether it's purely a byproduct of the brain, a fundamental part of the universe, or something entirely different, 
the journey to understand the mind is as much a journey to understand ourselves. Thanks for watching the Knowledge Hub. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the mysteries of our world.